All right, welcome back to the Corn Crib, Normal, Illinois. Tied at one, second half, 21 minutes to go. And this one goes through. It's deflected off the goalie, and Allen puts the Trojans on top, 2-1. to one. Parr could not corral that low-bouncing shot, and off of the rebound. Allen with goal number 35 of the season. Yeah, and Nathan, you're kind of a surprise there. You see Parr, and we talked about the ball maybe being wet. And Parr not able to corral it, but credit Allen for not giving up on the play, not assuming that the ball was going to be gobbled up. Stayed with it, knocked it past Parr, and a 2-1 Trojan lead. The sophomore, Jimmy Allen, his 35th goal of the year, is already their single-season goal-scoring record holder. And even as a sophomore, their career goal-scoring record holder, that might be the biggest one of his career if it holds up over the next 21 minutes. Remember, last time they scored, the Wildcats answered within two minutes. Here yep. comes Allen on the ball again. Stolen by Earnhardt. And they go on the left side to Russell. So Jimmy Allen strike off of a rebound unassisted. Puts the Trojans on top two to one. Knocked out of bounds. That will stay with the Trojans on the deflection on the slide. Sometimes those shots from distance can be the trickiest ones as they bounce through. And with it now is Anderson. Allen was there to take advantage. That's what goal scorers do. They find the ball, especially inside that six, outside the 18. Here is Martins on the ball. His shot's deflected high in the air. The Trojans will keep possession. Bagunski battling with Stark. Kept possession and drew a foul on Stark. After Bagunski kept it, Stark a little frustrated. There's a first push. Actually, he went the other way. And then after Bagunski won possession, Stark kind of grabbed him. Yeah, good sportsmanship at the end of it all, though. You hear you see the a little aggressive, getting a little chippy, but you saw both players shake hands immediately. That's After that, it into the net, off of the free kick. 3-1 for the Trojans. That free kick found its way through. Let's take another look. Anderson on it. It's deflected. That's the substitute, number nine, Trevor Hugendoom, the junior midfielder who just came in a couple minutes ago. And he got the last touch on goal number three. That's the perfect redirection. Just enough to get it out of the sideline of par in the midst of, it felt like, 20 players down there. And coming off the bench, doing just a terrific job and gives Timothy Christian a little bit of insurance. Nathan, how about the response? Last time in the first half when Timothy Christian scores, they give up a goal almost immediately. This time, the exact opposite happens, and they tack onto their lead. Well, and that's what they did last night in the semifinal against Urbana Uhai. They scored in bunches. And now they're on for another one. That one's into the back of the net. Martins from the 18 on the left foot, and it's 4-1 for the Trojans. How fitting, Martins, who's been outstanding in pretty much every aspect of the game, able to make it 4-1. to one. The beautiful left foot, nothing Parr could have done on that trip. And wow. as you said, they like to score in bunches, and we've seen three in the last few minutes. And another sophomore finding the back of the net. 